Why don't you touch that and make it go to red? <gasps> oh! Is this the door that you were crushed with? Knock once for yes. Why are you guys so shocked? Right because now? we were both sitting in here, we heard a knock on the door, and we opened the door, and nobody was there. Like just now? That was us? Like, no, not no. just now. This was earlier. It was like 15, 20 minutes ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. I could see that the foot smell got better. Yeah. <laughs> so did somebody ding-dong ditch y'all? No, I walked out there. No one was there. There was nobody there at all? No, there was nobody there. Nobody. Nobody. Like, we were both in here. Then it, I thought, okay, so what happened was I was using the spirit box in here because we started hearing some stuff, and I thought it was too loud, so I thought... I was just playing around with the spirit box, too, in the room. She got so mad at me. I was like, why are you going to Huh? Did you get any reception? No, no. You had to stick it out the window. Yeah, if you stick it out the window, because there, there's no reception in here. Okay. It's a funny story. I mentioned this on my vlog. So, a little bit earlier, I knocked on James's door, and right as I knocked... I looked at Tiffany and she looked back at me and we both were like, <laughs> like you could smell James's feet from out here with the door closed. Poor Chelsea is immune to it because we had to have her walk out here and get a breath of like, like fresh air. And then she came back, she was like, oh yeah. This His feet are I must have made a haunted video like, oh. in itself. <laughs> <laughs> I had to like clear my nostrils, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next time we'll bring in some <laughs> coffee grounds or something. I just walk around <laughs> with a candle forever. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to explore the Queen Mary all together. This is the first time ever that we bring the girls with us. Usually it's just, you know, me and Mo or James and I. So this is this is really nice. Oh, there's Rosa over there. So Rosa, she's straight ahead over there. I won't show her too much. She's a housekeeper here on the Queen Mary. Just a few doors down from here. It's like a laundry facility. And... Rosa was telling us how something had pushed her, and I have that on video. Yeah, it touched her butt. It touched her butt? Yeah. I thought she got like shut. No, she said it, that's why she thought it was like a kid or something, because she was like, it was like it touched her butt. And she turned around and was like. Well, I have all that on video, so yeah. I'm going to share that with you right now. Are there ghosts on this deck right here? Yeah, everywhere. There's ghosts everywhere? Yes. Yes. That's probably what we heard with the knocking and then the closet doors yeah. opening. <laughs> you know what happened right now? I went to this picture. Uh oh, we got a story. Oh no. Rosa's about to be our new best friend. I was standing right there getting my thing. Somebody was Touched your butt? Yes. What? Yes, yes. Oh. Maybe it's a little kid. And there was nobody there. Nobody there, I said. What? Yes, a few minutes ago. Really? Wow. So. That just happened. What, what is that? Is that a suite or a mini suite? No, that's, no, the, that's, that's, a, that's a laundry room. That's a, a laundry room. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's got all the towels and stuff in there. Ghosts everywhere. Oh, and it touched your booty. Yeah, I right. was waiting to go for the bed. Uh-huh. And I thought my coworker worker was there, my mama here in the room. So I knocked the door. I go, are you there? And nobody, she left the radio. I go, maybe she's there. Then this, uh, that hardwood security, he goes, can I pick the room? I go, yeah. I have my linen for the bed in here. Wait, I'm waiting for security. He's going to open it. When he went like this, look at the door. The door was open in the huh? I go, check. Oof, mm. I feel it. <laughs> and then I go, check. Maybe my mama here is in there. He checked everything. He opened half of the door. His name is Walter Dagai. Walter. Yeah. So next time we, we need to we need to talk to Walter. Walter. Yeah. Then you have to watch that. That deck is really happy. Pretty freaky stuff, huh? So yeah, Rosa will not spend the night here. In fact, I have heard of employees working here for a short time and being confronted by spirits and leaving here scared to death. Rosa seems like she's probably one of those people because she got freaked out. I mean, the look on her face was crazy. It's almost like she was relieved when she talked to us. Y'all be safe. Bye. So we are on the A deck. This is my favorite hallway on the Queen Mary. Now this is the same hallway where little Rosa 
the housekeeper that I showed you earlier, she was, I don't know if she was saying she was pushed or she was touched in the butt. Yeah, she said she was touched in the butt because I even made a joke about it. <laughs> I was like, I hope I don't get touched in my butt. And she goes, I mean, it's not like I have much of a butt. <laughs> <laughs> she did say that. She's so adorable. Was there somebody in there? You just walk down here. And that opens. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they have the wrong floor. I couldn't I couldn't tell. I'm gonna be whispering a little bit because there are people sleeping on this deck. Yo, we we just heard the elevator opening again. have these markers you know like where where you're at b336 b338 but then when you get to b340 there's no marker i don't know if there's a reason that's from b340 i stayed there one night now me phase rug and james i think we probably were the first to be able to spend the night in room B340. And then I think Sam and Kobe did it, and I think maybe Shane Dawson might have done it too, but it's very, very expensive. I want to say it's like $500 to spend the night in there. Chances are there's probably no one in there right now. But Rosa was telling us that tonight, was it tonight that somebody snapped some pictures? done a lot of Queen Mary videos if you want to know more of the history on the Queen Mary. Very old ship. It's permanently docked in Long Beach, California. The ship was used in World War II to transport a lot of the soldiers. They called it the Great Ghost at one point. There's over 600 reported poltergeists. Look at all these handprints. There's tons of handprints. What was it that Rosa was saying about the M deck? Oh, so apparently there was like a whole bunch of really bad things happening to people who were staying in the rooms on the M deck to where they shut it down and they like closed that entire section down for like a really long time and they just recently opened they up. They just the opened them up again. I've stayed on the M deck. Okay, so I've stayed on the M deck, the B deck. My very first time spending the night on the A deck is tonight. And we're just a couple doors down from where Rosa was touched by a ghost today. And something had happened to her and Chelsea earlier today. They were in my room and the doors started opening. The it's closet crazy. doors. The closet did. It just like opened up. Yeah, they, they didn't catch it on video. They were just talking and Chelsea was like, all right, I gotta go. Now, ever since Tiffany got on the Queen Mary, she's been sick to her stomach. We left to go to a restaurant 
little earlier and she was fine. As soon as we got back here, stomach pain again. So I don't know if you want to know something that I've felt for the very first time since maybe the very first time I got on the Queen. I've been on the Queen Mary like over 10, maybe I want to say 12 times. I feel like seasick. Like I feel like I'm rocking back and forth. And mind you, this ship is permanently docked, which I don't know. I don't know if there's a foundation to it or if it's on rocks. Oh, oh wow, yeah, this is the pool. One of the hot spots here on the Queen Mary, there's a spirit known as Jackie that haunts this entire pool area. She can be seen. Let's see if we can see Jackie. Are you here, Jackie? Something dark, like move. <gasps> that's happened to me before too. Like just. That's one of the reported things here on the Queen Mary. I did catch that one time on video, like an, uh, an elevator just opening up all by itself, and there was nobody in it. People also have reported toilets flushing on their own. I haven't experienced that in all the times I've been here, but maybe tonight. Now, earlier today, they had this section open. There's like a ballroom over here, and I have showed it before. Oh, it's closed. Maybe it's open, though. Want to see if the ballroom's open? Sure. It's probably locked. Yeah, it's locked. I did show it on a vlog, though. I'm going to leave a link to that vlog. So kind of a behind the scenes. If you're not following my vlog channel, you're missing out because I do show a lot of behind the scenes videos there. And I show a little bit more of what we're doing on our trips, our traveling trips. So we found something really cool. As many times I've been here, I've never, never seen that. So this is an old payphone booth. Whoa. Oh yeah, look, there's the telephone wires. You don't have your kind of talk. Okay. I feel like I'm in a confession booth. Hey babe. I did something very naughty. I looked at a girl. Her name was Tiffany. <laughs> what the What is that? It scared me so bad. Don't is somebody out there? Oh my god. Is somebody out there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it scared me so bad. <laughs> did. So I'm on the M deck right now where Rosa told us that they closed down a portion of it because there was a lot of things happening, a lot of activity in the middle of the night to the point where it was scaring guests like really bad. And they closed it off for a while and they just reopened it. Maybe they brought in a priest or whatever, but just a minute ago, and this is the second time it's happened to me. I'm walking and I feel like there's somebody walking behind me. I'm hearing noises and there was nobody there. I felt like a group of people were right behind me, giggling and laughing, and there's nobody there. Tiffany's taking pictures and stuff, you know. We're gonna explore a little bit and I am gonna do something that I've never done before on the Queen Mary. And that's do a real dedicated spirit box session. I'm gonna do that. Wow, that's great. So we are going to be recording ourselves sleeping into the night.
you're ever exploring the Queen Mary, sometimes it's good to just try to open some doors. Sometimes they leave them open. And we've gotten in a lot of places like that, just kind of looking around. I mean, they probably leave them open just for people to explore. Sounds like a party's going on up there. Oh, I've been here before. Doesn't that look like a mirror right there? And I looked at it, you caught me off guard when I walked by. Yeah. I was tripping me and me and Mo out last time. We just finished walking this really long hallway on the M deck. And it's one thing that I love about the Queen Mary is I always get to explore somewhere that I've never explored. And this is one of those areas right here. I mean, this ship is so massive. <laughs> You're always bound to find something new. What is this? Let me know if you see or hear anything, guys. Here. I've never been in there either. You know, look how trippy that looks. What? Don't act like you've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Yo, you want to hear something crazy? So, just a second ago, Tiffany was walking, and she was like, "Yo, there's some girl back." Like, there was this girl walking behind us really fast, like, like real fast. So I went back, and she like went to the left, like was walking behind like a door, kind of like you know, like there's a door that's open. Like, if you look back, then you see them coming. They can like stand behind you, mm -hmm. like behind the door. So they're like, she's walking. And then he looks back, and there she is, just like walking behind us, right? So then he looks back again. Well, I looked back, and she wasn't there. She was gone. So then he looks back. And, and she's there again. <laughs> when he looked back, I was like, yeah, I don't know. Meaning, like, I don't know where she went. So then I looked back again, and there she was. I was like, get me off this floor. Like, I don't, like, I don't even know where the heck she went. Yeah. It was like there was, and we both seen this girl. We both seen a girl. And what's crazy is I think she was wearing, like, old, I mean, I don't know if maybe she worked here. You know, but it, I thought that's maybe she worked here for like the occasion or whatever, but she was dressed in like old clothing. I don't know if you remember this, but the first time we were on the ship right here, we caught like a figure of, that was a figure of a girl that a lot of people thought was like some kind of spirit, like right in this area. I forget exactly. Was it here? Yeah, it was right here. So yeah, the, the girl had black hair. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Do you remember that? That was on a 360 video. Is that what you're talking about? I, it could have been. I don't know, but I just remember everyone was talking about it. I did a 360 video, and it's on this channel. And if you look, it was towards the end of the video. You look towards, like, the back, because you have to move around. And it looked like there was a girl just chilling, and she was holding a gun or something like that. Yeah. That was for, that was like like for real legit like she was either holding a gun or something and she was like it was really strange and she there was no girl up there and we were filming but those 360 cameras they catch everything you know there's some real creepy dolls over there though 
You guys want to see them? Yeah. It's like the old daycare. <laughs> yeah. Let's go look at it. Come on. This is really cool up here, though. This was probably like their little shopping mall back in the day. <gasps> oh, dude, that light just started flickering. Look at that. Literally just, it was in flickering a second ago. No, none of these lights are flickering. Where is this? How can that happen right when you're just standing here? Yeah, James was putting a new battery in his camera and that, like, that just started flickering like that. Wow. Huh. And look what it says here. Queen Mary Ghost. Like, right by it, too. And then there's a keychain that has the room B340. See that? You guys want to go see that? daycare with the weird dolls they look creepy too oh look this is open oh wait oh, look what it says up there haunted encounters see we're gonna have a haunted encounter in here now this is where they do the oh. sound like it came from up there what the hell? What is that? I know there's people over here. Hey, look. Huh? That's a curtain. Did you notice that? Oh, no. I wonder what's behind that curtain. So they do these ghost tours here at the Queen Mary. This is probably where they meet up. Stared down by some random dude looking at us like we were gonna steal oh, something. I know. <laughs> we gotta get out of there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that weird looking doll. Chelsea, you should put her in bed with you. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> it almost kind of reminds me of Patty's doll. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Look at that girl and then her trying to escape. She looks mean, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. And then that doll over there is like, get me out of here. <laughs> she trying to roll out. What's this like, used to be a child daycare or something? I think so. Now this daycare that we're looking at right now was reserved for first class guests. It was called cabin class. There were some other decks that had daycares too, but this one was like probably the most popular amongst the first class. I've never seen this just open like that, though. So funny. We were kind of like looking at stuff, and this guy pops around the corner. <laughs> and we yeah. Kind of posted up. And then he just, yeah. And then he just, yeah. Let's see if he's still there. He like went to walk. Oh, he, yeah, he's gone. Maybe he was standing right there, just like. <laughs> What are these guys doing? I'm gonna stop them from robbing the Queen Mary. <laughs> By the way, I would never steal, especially a haunted place. You never steal from a haunted place. Like that's just bad juju. Like why would you steal a demon or a ghost? Or, I mean, <laughs> just asking for trouble. Did you guys go up uh, to the sun deck? Most of the time. Yeah, we just stay outside. Did a lot of B-roll. I haven't really filmed anything inside yet. We just literally walked in right there. You guys want to do some EVPs outside? Like on the on the sun deck? Yeah, find a nice quiet spot. Yeah, let's do that. We're trying to find a quiet place to do some EVPs so we're not disturbing any of the guests that are spending the night. Oh, what is this? Somebody left some sunglasses here. Ooh. These are nice too. 
I'm gonna turn them into the front desk. I mean, nothing special. These are probably like some five dollar sunglasses, or maybe I should leave them. Oh, I'm gonna leave them. So this is a little wedding area. Oh gosh. <laughs> How many spirits haunt the Queen Mary? Thought I heard something like that. What's in room B340? Danger? Did you hear that? Can you tell us how many spirits are on this ship in total? Who touched Rosa earlier? Sound like Dale or something like that. Oh, open! Yeah, I heard the door. Yeah, something with the door. Wait, your door was some somebody knocked on your door. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Who was it that knocked on Chelsea and James's door? Was it Dale? I said Dale again. What is he Who haunts the A deck? Go to our rooms now. I guess said yes. Yes. Dude, that said yes, just like that. There's a lot coming through. Usually these spirit boxes take a while to produce anything, but there's so much activity. Like I said, there's over 600 reported ghosts here on this ship. So I mean it's like they're all trying to talk at once to us. You know what, let me try let me try my spirit box. Yeah. Yeah. Who touched Rosa? Yeah. My antenna broke. Oh, Whoa. What the heck? Put your finger back. Shit? Who touched Rosa? I decline. Where is that? What, was it a woman or a man? Did I just say Rosa? Is that you? That's what it sounded like. Why is the Queen Mary so haunted? Did this say false? God, I hope not. Have we ever done EVPs on the Queen Mary? I think this is our first time ever doing EVPs. One at a time. What 
spirit is the strongest. Mary. Mary. Is that Gary? Mary or Gary? Did you say Mary or Gary? We decided to go ahead and just go back to our rooms. Especially after the EVP machine said yes, wants to go back to our rooms. I'm gonna film us sleeping in through the night. What should we do with the sunglasses? Should we just leave them there? Yeah, I would just leave them there. All right. I don't know how to do that room because they told us. Are they telling us you to protect us, or are they telling us you because they want to like jump in our bodies? I would say both. Can we just like sleep on the tree over here? <laughs> this little tree? Yep, right there. I'll make it work. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could put a hammock between these. So we're on the sun deck right now. And there's Sir Winston's restaurant. I've only been here. This is my second time coming to this part of the, the sun deck. Yeah. On the opposite side, they have like a view of the water, which is really nice, and a view of Long Beach. They have an event going on over here too. It's like a Halloween event. I know. Wait, what if that's like a ghost or something? Let's see if I can zoom into him. What is that? I don't know. What do you think of this elevator? I don't know. You're I supposed mean, to push a button. I don't know what you want to push. We gotta go to the A deck. Oh. Isn't that on the main? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's check out the art deck. <gasps> oh, oh, let's not check out any deck, but the one it opens to. This elevator's hella old. Oh my God. Okay, this is the A deck. I thought so somebody was in here. We should probably put this so we don't get, yeah. We don't want anybody disturbing us. Keep calm and clean on. Wait. Wait. That means you're telling them to clean, right? Okay, hold on. Maybe it's this one. Yeah. yeah. Keep calm it's and sleep on. on. Okay, yeah, I like that one better. So this is our bedroom. And got my laptop there. I was uploading some footage. Is it hot in here? It's so freaking hot. Really? Open this window. This room is a little oh my God, this window's modern. Open. Yeah, I opened it. Oh, it's so hot. I don't know why this room is like this. Most of the other rooms, like James's room, is like they have like the little air vents and it's more old school. This is kind of a little newer. With the exception of some of the the original woodwork. I can't tell if he's like, sleeping or if he's like. Is your guy out there? Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh. I think he is sleeping. I don't know. What is up, fam? We are currently into the next day. Something unexpected happened last night, and I'm really, really upset about it. 
I set up my cameras to film us sleeping and when I woke up in the morning to see what I recorded, there was nothing there. It's almost like I didn't push the record button. I don't know if maybe it got deleted by accident or maybe I really didn't push the record button. And I don't know, there was a side of me that was like, I'm just gonna scrap the whole video to begin with. But I don't know, maybe I caught some stuff when we were exploring last night. I mean, I was so tired. We had drove all the way from Las Vegas and came in. But anyways, instead of ending the video here, I wanted to show you something that I've never shown on Omar Gosh TV and that's the engine room or honestly I've never done an investigation in the engine room we do got our spare box we have an EMF meter measures electromagnetic frequencies we're gonna take that inside the Queen Mary they got this event going on it's called Dark Harbor and I think it goes on tonight it's kind of like Universal Studios like Halloween Horror Nights you know they have like the haunted houses and things like that but it is pretty awesome man there was a lot of people here last night goes on to like 12 a.m or something video's not over just yet though make sure to smash that like button in case you haven't i know man a lot of you you're making me mad because like you'll be smashing that like button and when you smash that like button it shows you that you love my content it shows youtube too that you love my content and they're able to share my content with other people which is great for my channel because it keeps me going definitely inspiring let's go Here's some pictures of the Queen Mary back in the day. And this is so cool right here. That's 16,000 soldiers from World War II that were transported back and forth. I don't know if it was one time or a few times. We are going down into the engine room with... What, taxi? You heard that? Yeah. There's nobody here with us. It's completely empty down in the engine room. There's one room that is super haunted and you can actually talk with a ghost. Wow, a lot of engine. It is super quiet. I guarantee you when this thing was on though, it wasn't quiet. Oh, there's even more down there. Tiffany was telling me about that over there. It looks like blood. <laughs> what the heck was that? Did you have an inner burp or something? Benjamin? Benjamin? Okay. <laughs> Every time I see this, it reminds me of like, maybe like there's like an alien creature in there. Oh, yeah. Right? Incubating. They're incubating an alien. There's so much down here. Me too. We're coming really close to that door that it smashed a guy and they say that he haunts that doorway. Yeah, it's like a steel door. Oh, it's right up here. I think. Yeah, it's right over here. Oh, 
supposedly you can ask this ghost questions and he'll answer back with taps. Yeah, let me show you. So years ago, right here in this door, they cleared. They added this. This wasn't here before. Knock once for yes, knock twice for no. Are you the ghost that haunts this area? <gasps> immediate. That was freaking immediate, bro. Do you want us to leave? <gasps> wow. Will we be harmed if we don't leave? So this door crushed a guy. He was just walking through the ship, and this was like a free, like steel door. And supposedly, the ship like caught a big wave or something, and it crushed him. I don't know. I kind of feel like this isn't it. There, there's another door like this, but you can actually feel the door and feel how heavy it is. Unless this is new right here. Is this the door that you were crushed with? Knock once for yes. <gasps> wow. How is that so immediate? I don't think that's the door that I was talking about. That I was talking about. But maybe someone else died in that doorway. I don't know. Maybe it is, though. Wow, the engine room is huge. I've never seen this. You've never been down here? Right? I think we came through there. Yeah, we just went in a circle. Yeah. All right, I got somewhere else to show you. I'm gonna show you the propeller. Just like I asked the ghost, this is the doorway where the guy was crushed because there's not another one. Is this the doorway? Let's just let us know one more time. Knock once for yes, knock twice for no. Unless there's another doorway? Were you actually crushed here? This is over. <laughs> He's done talking. So we gotta go up this way. On this non-working escalator. This looks so different than the last time I was here. Was this, all, was this always here? This right here. <gasps> what is that? Yo, all the lights went off behind you. No. Yeah, come back this way. You don't see it? Yeah, I see it. All the lights are off. Oh. I've never been in here. It's one thing I love about coming out here. Is Always find something new to explore. This is a stairway. What's the other way? Is that you? Is that down there? Oh, this floor is tripping me out there. I 
think these are just stairs. Yeah, because it says emergency exit. It's this way. We got to go up again. Oh, I just got a really cold draft. It's super cold in here. This is the very front of the ship. Goes to show you what moves a really big ship. I was just thinking about that. I was like, there's so much that goes into the ship. To view the last propeller intact aboard the Queen Mary, you actually walk through the hull into a unique dark ended chamber containing approximately 200,000 gallons of water still attached to its large drive shaft. Look at that. So that propeller weighs 35 tons. Now there's some stories as to why this area of the Queen Mary is so haunted. And one of the stories is there was some scuba divers that went to clean the prop and the prop came on and it killed the scuba divers and they say that the scuba divers haunt this area here. Not sure the accuracy of that story, but it's definitely one that you can look up online. I know, I know there's a, a few more stories. Some of the stories connect to people dropping their loved ones ashes in here and their loved ones ghosts haunting this room as well. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a lot of money down there. A lot more than you could even count. I mean, it's, I wanna say there's levels and levels of coins down there. They're just corroded and it just blends in with the, whatever's down there, like dirt or paint. There is a lot of money down there. I wonder if they send anybody down there to take the money at all. But you can see a lot of it's corroded on, on the prop. I'm gonna go get you. You wanna go get James? What? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, wow. Hello? Why don't you touch that and make it go to red? <gasps> oh. Oh, wow. Oh my God. That thing was cold a second ago. Who's haunting this room? Is it the scuba divers? Or is it loved ones ashes that were spread here? Wow, it's going crazy. You don't think that's connected to your phone or something, do you? Your phone is with you. Your yeah, my, my phone's not doing anything. No, maybe not. It's not. Maybe it's your phone. So my phone? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look, when you walked away, it's like... It's not. It's not connected to the phone. See, I thought it was maybe connected to my phone, but it's not. Let me see. Dude, we had a legit ghost messing with us right now. Yeah. At first I thought maybe it could have been the phones making it trip out. What? I mean, I have a lot of videos on here, but. <laughs> Dude, there was something standing next to us right now. Come back. <gasps> that moved. Did you see it move? James, hurry. Dude, the EMF meter is going crazy right now. I thought it was our phones making it go crazy, but it wasn't. And we just put that to the test. I put it back down, and then this thing started moving in a circle. Yeah, look, it's going off right now. What is this? That's the propeller. That's the propeller. Oh. Yeah, they say this is one of the hot spots yeah. in the Queen Mary. Come on, man, show some crack. You want some cleavage? <laughs> so we wanted to spend a little bit more time in that propeller box room, but there was a giant tour with like a hundred people coming up close and we started hearing some noises and I don't know. I don't know if those are those knocking noises we were hearing earlier. Pretty sure that was completely different. But yeah, we didn't even get to do a spare box 
down there. There was no cell phone signal, so probably wouldn't have been much of a radio signal to begin with, but I'm always sad when I leave the Queen Mary because I feel like there's so much more to see. I definitely encourage you, if, if you live anywhere in California, or if you, you can come out here to visit from anywhere from around the world, definitely come visit this place. If you love haunted places, if you love historic places, if you love history, you'll definitely appreciate the Queen Mary. It's an amazing place. I really hope it's always here. I mean, I want to come back here 40 years from now if I'm still alive and, and come visit it. I'm going to go ahead and start concluding this video. Not as scary as I thought it was. I mean, there was definitely some scary moments, but I think I'm just more captivated by the history and, and different things that happen here and there. But I mean, who knows? Maybe I might be editing this video right now and like, oh my God, this was probably the scariest thing. Because sometimes scary things can reveal themselves later on in your footage. A lot of you are really good at catching things too. So I do encourage you, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, watch this video a couple of times, and let me know if you've seen or heard anything. Put the timestamp down below in the comments. I do have a vlog channel for those of you not familiar with it. I upload a lot of videos there, so if you're missing my videos here, definitely go check it out over there because I do a lot of behind the scenes videos, and I kind of show you what I'm up to, especially when it comes to travel vlogs like I did here. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Be sure to check out my friends Chelsea yeah. and check out James. <laughs> Links will be down below in the description. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.